What is post-COVID syndrome? So the, the term post-COVID syndrome is an umbrella term used to basically denote any symptoms arising right after the COVID infection, so the out of the three weeks, after the three weeks, or anything that comes right after the recovery. Um, it also could uh, imply the sequelae of COVID in patients who were uh, hospitalized, you know, who had a more severe kind of infection. So these are generally we call them as post-COVID syndrome and of course there's still a lot we don't know about it there's a lot of research underway but we have started seeing these patients we have started identifying and kind of correlating symptoms with their COVID infection today let's talk about some of the symptoms which are uh, very commonly seen uh, there's of course uh, fatigue you know a generalized sense of fatigue not wanting to do anything um, there's also people complaining of fever of course, there's a lot of pain. There is muscle pain, there's joint pain, there are headaches, there are you know pain in the throat still. Um, so there's that. Uh, also, in terms of lungs, you get a lot of uh, people complaining of persisting cough for multiple weeks and weeks after the COVID has been, you have recovered from COVID. Uh, there's also a sense of breathlessness. This is of course going to be more likely in elderly candidates or people who had to be hospitalized uh, during their COVID tenure. Um, some of the GI symptoms that we're seeing are, of course, you know, abdominal pain, there's uh, nausea, there is uh, loose motions that are continuing to happen. And, of course, there is a lot of um, loss of appetite, you know, feeling of general unwell-being and not wanting to eat. This is uh, also associated with loss of uh, smell and loss of taste. Uh, then you have, you know, a little bit serious symptoms like chest tightness, chest pain, also palpitations, which is basically um, being aware of your heartbeats, like really loud heartbeats, which could be irregular as well. Then, of course, neuro symptoms, you know, a loss of um, memory, lack of concentration, not being able to concentrate, uh, concentrate. There are elderly that are coming up with delirium and symptoms of that. And of course, things we can't ignore are your psychiatric symptoms. So signs of PTSD, because, you know, for many people, this is the first kind, first uh, really big trauma they face in their lives. Um, you know, fear, uh, fear and symptoms of anxiety, uh, symptoms of depression. So all these can be kind of grouped under post-COVID syndrome. If you know somebody or you yourself are having any of these symptoms, I highly recommend you seek out medical help. You talk to the right people, get yourself tested and, you know, have some form of treatment plan that you and your medical practitioner can discuss about.